All right, so you created your own quiz, and you've titled it Blizza Fo Shizza Quizza. And now we want to do a couple of things to make this quiz self-grading, because hey, who wants to sit around grading 140 quizzes? Not me, not you. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to view the live form. So we're going to see what it looks like um, to the kids here. And you're going to fill in the correct answers. This is going to be your key. So I'll add my name, my class period, current U.S. President, Obama, Game of Thrones depicts which governmental style, um, oligarchy, nope, cray-cray, totes cray-cray. How likely is it Bieber will replace Letterman? Let's say very unlikely. And select the best adjective for each world leader's height. Napoleon, short. Lincoln, tall. Churchill, I don't know. No one knows how tall he was, so we'll say average. Kim Jong-un, he is minuscule. How did I feel about this quiz? I thought it was awesome. Or, let's spell it correctly. Awesome! Exclamation. Submit. All right, so we've just submitted the response that will be our key. So how do we grade it? Here's the fun part. We're going to come back to our copy. No, we're going to go back to the responses. Okay, here, here are the responses. I like some of these responses. Um, I like that it made Jason Hankinson's life, and I like that Dr. Trevor Thomas said, that was amazeballs. That's, you know, that's something he would say. But I digress. Okay, how do we grade this? If you look up here at the tabs, you'll see a really weird looking tab called Flubaroo. Your, um, your spreadsheet will not have that yet, but I'm going to show you how to get it. Flubaroo is a cool name for a script that will grade your spreadsheets for you. So to get that, come over to Tools, click on Tools, and click Script Gallery. There are actually tons of scripts um, that do all sorts of awesome things. But we want Flubaroo, so you will search for it here, F-L-U-B-A-R-O-O, Flubaroo, and search. Wait for it, and here we go. Uh, you will click Install. It's telling me it's already installed, I know that. Uh, you will get a, a pop-up that says, hey, would you like Flubaroo, give me all the permissions in the world, and just say yes. Just say yes. Okay, so we are back at the responses, and uh, we have our Flubaroo tab, and so we're going to tell it how we want it to grade. Mine says regrade assignment, because I already tried to grade this once. I made a video, and it failed terribly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and regrade this. Um, it's, do you want to replace? Yes, I want to replace. And here we go. Now, this is where you get to set up your points options. You can determine which question is worth how many points, up to, I believe, five. Yes, five. Notice that it already recognizes the student name and class period as just identifying questions. But I am going to come down to this last one here. How did you feel about this online method? I don't really want to grade that. And you will have the opportunity to say, skip grading. So I don't want that graded. It's not going to be graded. And we will select continue. Now, option two is the most important option, and that is, here it's asking us, please select the submission to be used as the answer key. We just submitted the answer key, what we hope are the right answers, and here's my submission. So I'm going to click that, and now Flubaroo is going to use that to determine how everyone did. I'll click continue, let it run its magic, grading your assignment, and bam! Let's view the grades here. Oh dear, we did poorly. Jason Hankinson, 14.28%. Susan Kelly, I thought better of you, 14.28%. Dr. Trevor Thomas, PhD, received an 85%, as did Mickey Mouse. Okay, so these are the scores. Um, if you scroll over, you'll see exactly how students answered each question. Um, if you want to manipulate the spreadsheet a little bit, you can figure it, you can sort it by questions correct, you can sort it by most missed. Um, and then you get a nice little summary up here. Points possible, average points, um, counted submissions, and the number of low scoring questions. So that's all you have to do. You put in the, the right answers once, you get a nice spreadsheet, and you can track your class and see their progress based on that. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this screencast of how to self-grade quizzes using Google Forms and the cool script Flubaroo.